Farmers across the state are busy tonight trying to get their crops out of the fields before the rain comes in again. And those farmers have high hopes as they begin to look at the end of season numbers. 10 TV's Chuck Strickler is live in Western Franklin County with more on the outlook for this year's crop in the state's biggest industry. Chuck. Well, some farmers are working around the clock to finish their fall harvest. Those soybean fields over there already done. This field over here already planted with winter wheat and you can see this winter fencing is up here now. For many, it is a race against Mother Nature and even though selling prices are lower this year, farmers are very optimistic for a bumper corn and soybean crop. This combine is in the steady hands of a seasoned pro. Is it kind of hard to stay in the lines or between the rows? Pretty well. Right now. John Hostetler says technology makes his job a little easier than when he started farming years ago. Computers controlling everything with just a touch of a button. Sharpened rotors cutting up dozens of corn stalks per minute, churning out a steady stream of kernels. What has not changed is his love of being out in the fields, a passion he learned from his dad, and has now passed to his son Brent, riding right alongside him. I get to work with my family. I got to work with my grandfather for a few years before he retired. The Hostetlers farm about 2,000 acres with just a few fields to go. It's uh, been phenomenal. The soybeans were, were, were good. Uh, my wheat yield this summer was the best I ever raised. And an average of more than 200 bushels an acre for corn, more than they expected. The weather is always a big variable during growing season, but farmers say for the most part, Mother Nature has cooperated this year with adequate temperatures and rainfall. What also helps the yields are new varieties and hybrids, which help make the plants more adaptable to changing weather conditions. Now, the rush is on to beat the rain. And as you can tell from Chopper 10, farmers across central Ohio have the same idea. For the Hostetlers, it's a family tradition they would never trade for the world. I try not to complain any, about any one part of it because there could be, I could be doing something else that's much worse. Now, farmers say the longer the crop stays in the field, the more susceptible it is to rot and disease, and that could sacrifice quality. And that's why many farmers, like the Hostetlers, will be working right through sunset and into the evening hours before this latest rain hits. Reporting live in western Franklin County, Chuck Strickler, 10TV News.